So I feel like this is an appropriate time to do the video on what we do for water um, when you're off grid early stages because it's chucking it down and um, I just want to get some water on in the caravan because I've got a far better system planned with filtration and everything but right now we just want to be able to flush the toilets with things other than um, buckets and pour it down there. We just want some flowing water really. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Won't be too long a video. Um, we're just going to be using one of these drums. That's the water inlet there. And I'll, uh, I'm will i going to try and get out the rain because it's. Um, I'm just going to get soaked. I haven't put my hat on. Okay, so this is what we're going to need to make this work. We've got the pump. We've got the pump filter, which was an extra an extra purchase. It didn't come with it, so I'd say it's fairly essential, but maybe you could run it without. Um, this is the converter for our pipe type. This is the converter for our pipe type. We're using 15 millimeter push fit piping. Whenever you're using that, um, make sure you use these push fit connectors because the, uh, the ends of this, if you don't, it sort of compress it. Now, I can't do it with my hand, but it's more likely to leak. Whereas if I show you the other end, it's got this metal metal bit on the end. It just makes it a much better, much better seal. So that goes in there. Oh, and you'll need one of these. So this, it, you, it depends what pipes I use, you're using. So I'm using 15, so I need this connector. And what this is, is a tank connector, which, See, it's got that, that bit there. You drill the hole through the barrel and then that goes in the rubber gasket one side, rubber gasket the other side, and then that screws on. And that means I can then just push fit that pipe in there. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the barrel, put that on, put that on, put that on, put that on. No, not that. And then um, fill this with the lovely rainwater that we're being gifted with right now. Ignore the washing. Um, and hopefully we'll have something to flush the toilet with that doesn't splash over the floor at the same time. <coughs> so we put that in. No. Put that in there. It's the putting the metal clip in there. If you you just push it in. And then if you've got one of these pipe, pipe cutters, you just hammer it in with the back of that. Not sure if that's what it's supposed to do, but that's what I've always done. Put these all out of the way. So this is, um, this is assuming you have power. And if you're connecting a caravan or a van or anything like that, you're gonna have power because you're gonna have the 12 volt battery or 12 volt system in your caravan. So you will have power. If you're in a mud hut, this isn't gonna work because you will need to plug this in. So. You don't need anything other than power. Like you don't need water, you can collect it in buckets like we are at the moment. Um, but you, you do need power. So this is power, power driven pump. I'm just gonna take the lid off here, or at least I would. We've only just moved up yesterday, yesterday afternoon really, and um, I've got a huge cold at the minute, which is why I might sound a bit bunged up. Okay. So I'm gonna put this in, not right at the bottom, because you want the sediment to collect down there, um, if there is any. So I'm putting it in. Can you see where I'm putting that in? Yeah. This is also too small a, a drill bit because all my bits are somewhere in the workshop. So let me just straddle this and use this as a... Where's the connector gone? Oh, there it is. Are they yet? Nope. You 
you want this to be fairly tight because the rubber ring, rubber ring seal around the edge, if you've got less of that because your hole's too big, it'll be, um, it won't be as good a, as good a seal. Oh, with it, with, we're nearly there. Still not? No? Okay. There we go. If you just trying to keep all the swarf, you know, the plastic chips out of the tank so I don't have to, I'm still gonna wash down a little bit, but just take the knife and just smooth off the edges because Otherwise, that rubber gasket, if it doesn't have a, you know, a nice smooth bit to seat on, you're going to have, going to have leaks. All right, that's the outside done. Let's have a look at the inside. Oh, the inside's smooth. Okay, didn't create any, any ridges on the inside. Just try and empty out any of those plastic bits. Nice, it's all nice and new in there. Okay. So, I'm gonna put you down here so you can see a bit better. Turn around. We want this bit to go on the inside. Like that. And then we want the bit that I dropped to go on the outside. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a bead of silicon around the outer surface. Um, I'm not, you know what, I'm not. I'm not, I would recommend you do, but because I'm making this tank temporary, tempor well, it's not that temporary, but um, I'm going to re redo this all soon once we've got the filters. Um, we've got the filters, but once I've got time to do the filters. Uh, so I'll see if it, if it leaks without silicon. <coughs> that's, that's fairly good. Okay. This is the pipe. Get that in there like that. It's not one of the wind ones. It's just push, push fit. Okay, so that's that. That's that down there. I don't know if I've shown you yet. Can't get it soaked. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna have to swap the um, buckets over. Right, so we're full on this. in there, and in there, it's filling back up. This one's overflowing as well. You know, I think I'm just gonna have to accept to run out of buckets. I'm gonna have to get some in that big blue barrel that I'm making, but I'm gonna get the pump on it. For... Oh, I can just put the pump on. I can just, let's just, let's do that, yeah? Let's put the pump on, and then um, I can fill up the bucket. place okay I've got it in place I'm just gonna leave because of your action camera leave you there while I go get some water it was my plan to filter this as I poured it in here but I 
I'll just have to hope that it, anything will settle at the bottom. I mean, it is all very clear as it is, so. Right, we've got three buckets. Rainwater, let's swap them for the bottom ones. This is a big one. I should make a video on how to dry your clothes. I um, don't know the answer to that. Well, I'm gonna get the gas connected, so that's the next job tonight, which will be how we dry our clothes, I suppose. Like soaking. Okay, let's get you over there. You under there. You know, at home, back where we lived two days ago, you just turned the tap on, didn't you? Right now, I'm outside getting soaking. And I feel like the rain that's <laughs> overflowing is lost water. I'm like, quick, collect it. It's like it's money or something. I'm just going to go get the two yellow, yellow buckets. Can't quite decide if hard work burns off a cold or makes it set in deeper. I'm going for burning off the cold. Wow, who thought rainwater was so clear? Oh, there's some bits in this one. Hopefully it settles at the bottom. My um, plan, if the weather wasn't quite so bad, was also, it wasn't getting quite so late. It was to um, put some mosquito mesh and just uh, like elastic band it. We don't have elastic bands, but you, just, you know the collar that I took off there, put it over there and then just pull the water through the mosquito mesh so that the, the water in here stays not full of stuff, but look, it's, don't know why I thought it was, you know, you hear about, um, what's it called, polluted rain, rain pollution, acid rain, that's what it's called, isn't it? You think rain is going to be terrible, but it looks pretty good, actually. Right, what's next? Done that, done that, got to bring power to the pump, power to the pump, power to the pump and um, put the lid on, I suppose. We'll see if it works. That was how to electrocute yourself 101. I'm not gonna show you how I plug that in. You can hear it though. It's swirling. It's not gonna be powered like that for good. I'm just, let's have a look. Ha <laughs> Okay, got water. I haven't tested all the toilets and stuff, but um, you'd be surprised knowing that this, the power is not, not the power, knowing that the water is not on to um, how many times I've turned the taps on thinking I'll just get some water and be like, oh man, no water. Uh, it's not hot water though, it's cold water but take it in stages, hey? So, if you like this kind of content, um, then we'll see you in the next one. The next one will be, I don't know. I don't know what the next one will be. I mean, you see the kind of things we're doing. Might be the water. No, it won't likely be the water. Probably be the septic tank or something about the septic tank. Um, we've got water, no toilets yet. Baby steps, baby steps.